keep hearing how review after review will clean out the education system, will get it right, will eradicate woke teaching, but from what we can establish from what you're doing, it's as rife as it's ever been. Oh, more so, Chris. Uh, have no doubt that state governments have lost control of what's happening in the schools and the evidence presented by Miranda De Devine today in the Daily Telegraph shows that uh, Catholic education systems are losing control of what's in their schools. So it's not just the government sector problem. Non-government schools have also got massive issues about uh, woke, left-wing, irrelevant content, dangerous content, uh, being taught to students. Uh, this is happening in classrooms. It's happening through teacher professional development programs. It's happening in whole schools moving in a certain direction without the consent of their parents. And um, it's one of the very strong indicators explaining why uh, in New South Wales we've got the fastest falling student academic results in the world. Uh, yeah. If you teach this rubbish, you end up with rubbish results. Yeah, that's exactly right. There's, there's uh, not only a causation, but a correlation between the two. Can I start with climate left-wing propaganda? Because we know from the protests that have gone on in the streets of just about every capital city in Australia, it's a, it's a stench in the education system, and they are being taught one side of the science, aren't they? Yes, they're not being taught about the dissenting scientists, and most importantly, they're not being taught about some of the economic consequences of going down the pathway of 100% renewable. Because clearly, um, there's a major risk that the lights go, go out, that people lose their jobs, that manufacturing would be wiped out around the country. So... Um, to just chant climate change, fix it, and teach students the simplicity of that message, uh, in some cases coming straight out of the UN Sustainable Development Goals, is not really an education because it doesn't give the full story. It doesn't give the story of dissenting scientists. It doesn't tell us about the economic consequences. It doesn't use any of the modelling to say if you go net zero 2050, you could knock uh, 15, 25% of family income um, out of the system, people would be uh, relatively poorer because of this. So, you know, a full education gives students the full facts. And clearly, that's not happening in the classroom. Yeah. And in the Australian context, there's nothing we can do, no matter if we shut down every single carbon dioxide emission that the country produces. Um, are you getting a lot of this information from parents, are you? Yes. Uh, the two instances that Miranda Devine had in the Telegraph today, uh, directly from parents. One out of a uh, all-girls Catholic college in Wollongong, another uh, out of the Hunter Valley. So, you know, these are traditional working-class areas where, you know, in both cases, their their parents who've worked hard, uh, done well, wanted to get their children through a good non-government school education on a moral and religious uh, basis, uh, thinking that the government schools have gone off the rails. Well, when the Catholic system is not fulfilling its traditional role of giving parents choice, it's just like the government schools, and there's no moral or religious difference in those schools, well, where do the parents then turn? You know, yeah. I, I had a lengthy conversation with one of the parents at his wit's end. So where do I go now? Where do I go to get a decent uh, moral standard of education for my girls? So it's very, very punishing on the families. And in the case of uh, non-government schools, they've paid their money. Yes. They've paid their money for this rubbish. Yeah, to be... You know, at least in the government school, you're getting rubbish for free. In <laughs> non-government, you're paying for yeah, it. Yeah, you're paying to have your child brainwashed. What about this business of encouraging veganism, which was in Miranda's story? Really? Well, it's every, everything, Chris, e everything. That, that, that story had the, the veganism, the UN Sustainable Development Royal Schools, adopting this international baccalaureate model out of Geneva with the UN links uh, going down that pathway. Um, and I, I thought most disturbing of all that uh, the, the college in Wollongong, um, Year 11 Geography, had a lesson on misgendered babies. Mm. A BBC video that if you dress the newborn baby girl in blue and the boy in pink, you get different outcomes in the toys they receive. Well, what's that got to do with geography? Yeah. What's that got to do with education? What's that got to do with anything? It's trying to convince kids that nothing's really true that a baby is born female, but if you put a certain colour clothes on, or it could be, it'd be treated like a male baby. The gender is a social construct. Now, this is not education, because what it uh, indicates to the kids and tells them is that you can't trust anything in this world. All information, all knowledge, all our history has been socially constructed. So if you're teaching kids not to trust and have confidence 
in what they're, they're told in the education system, what they're told at home, it's anti-educational, it's anti-intellectual, and I believe, in, in the case of gender fluidity teaching, it's a form of child abuse. Well, what can you do, though, as uh, the leader of One Nation in New South Wales, in the upper house of the New South Wales Parliament, about stopping this? Well, um, it's gone on too long. Um, one encouraging sign in New South Wales was that three years ago they made a decision to abolish the Safe Schools program. You could legislate to uh, outlaw uh, gender fluidity teaching, course development and teacher training right across the New South Wales education system. So that's what my private mem members bill tries to do in that area. And the second thing it does, very important, is say that no school should be teaching uh, morality, or social development or social values that are against the wishes of uh, parents, yeah. against the wishes of the people, the families, that the schools are supposed to serve. So to put that in law, I think, would be an important blocker against a lot of this madness in the classroom.